you guys remember the ASMR buddy? Good, because I do, and I liked it. I liked it, and I also liked the keyboard sound. didn't quite fit, and I wanted to replicate that entire experience for you guys, but I quickly realized when I was brainstorming ideas that most likely I wouldn't be able to create anything good or original, at least. Nothing original, original. Which is what I want to do. Without taking at least maybe three or four hours to do it. So, in lieu of that, I thought maybe I would show you general um, scripting maneuvers you can do that I've learned in the last year and thought it might be fun for a short little video to uh, consider maybe switching from PowerShell to command.exe and now I'm in the command shell, and if I'm really stranded and I type help, you can see I guess that just gives me the version. Well, as you can see here, let's remove the preview pane so I can make it smaller, more easy to work with here. Um, this little script here, it's probably outside of the field of vision right now I guess I'll, I'll probably be right right around here cutting my face off if I do that um or no, no I would I would just be out of the screen the way I set it up started with the very first thing that you would write. And this at echo off, it is based around the echo command which displays things on the keyboard, on the screen, on the power, on the... I'm gonna get my thoughts together. 
the command prompt. So if I wanted to echo escape characters if I wanted to use that and then pause echo pause I think that's how that works but if I saved that file in theory I can double click this is the ASMR buddy over here. I modified it. But that's a uh, that's the sassy version. Sassy in, in the human sense. Cool. Cool cool cool. So I have A little transparent command prompt here. Oh, you guys would remember it if you saw the other video, but... That's the problem with these 4K. I tried to get a future-proof laptop when I bought my most recent laptop, and I love this thing. It took me three months to pay it off, but it was... I think it's worth it, but the 4K, I'm finding that it isn't supported with a lot of programs that I use. So, from a day-to-day -day basis, I'm having trouble with some old programs. So this says... Set a local environment where variables will be local, and I can end, so I could set var equals Let me just say that. Well, that's not very ASMR-y. And hmm, would I? I guess I could close that. And let's see. So if I echo. var and wrapping it in exclamation points is just a way to ask for the value that's stored inside. In this case it would be the letters ASMR should, in this case, show, and we would get a display of Hello Sleepyheads in ASMR, and now it, because I ended local right here, I should be able to um, echo var again. And it shouldn't have any value stored in it. And it might, though. There's a lot of interesting things that I don't usually ex 
expect to happen that happens and then I find out how it how it works and pretty much why I came up with that channel name because that seems to be uh, one of the things I'm interested in is just trying things to find out about them. Alright, so we said pause there, and if I save that, I just hit control S, and run this. Okay, and now, oh, I messed up, I didn't hit, um, see I wrote end space local. You want to not have a space, a single command. Okay, so we... have our variable that's stored right here. Inside the local area. Yeah, my little cursor with the 4K it's so small sometimes, it's hard to get it right in that little sweet spot. And we end local, and uh, next, after I hit any key in this screen, that pause right here will be... Um, ...deactivated, I guess. Yeah, interesting. So, that's what I expected. Surprising, but I, ironically, I was surprised to get what I expected. Because I, uh, kind of pretty much, um, super not smart when it comes to anything with computers relative to all the people I'm surrounded by, which is a good thing, I think. I heard somewhere the other day that you are the average of the five closest people to you, or the five people you're closest to. So it's good to have two or three um, that you're more skilled at in some areas, and two or three that are more skilled than you you know, that you can learn from, or you would maybe consider more successful than you. And it's good, because teaching helps you understand the information better, kind of like what I'm doing now. And on the other end, it's not, it's not smart to be the smartest one in your group, I think. And that does seem to ring true. Um, Alright, so next we could... I'll try to stay on the keyboard here. Um, here we go. If I... I do show you a text file. Could set some variables. I could Probably a cool thing to do. Let me see. Bring it over here. Out of your view for a second. Go in my personal files and see. If I could find something. Alright. Yeah, we could do that. So, this is a generic file here, of the type that I work with, 
and one of the things I could do here, I guess I, I really don't need that. Well, I can show you guys. Um, how to change the color from to make it a green text on a black background. I think it's A. There we go. So if I wanted to know more about anything, really, you can type. You can type help afterwards, or you can type forward slash. Question mark, and that'll bring up. Hey, you know what? I want to make this text a little bit smaller. The font. There we go. Yeah, that's better. I find it hard to focus on if if things are too um, bold and too large, taking up too much of the screen. So, real quick, let's change the opacity. Oh, that's really opaque. Or, wait. Not opaque. No. Alright. Yeah, it's, that's good. That's a good value right there. So, um, yeah, if I hit, you know, if I wanted to make red text. They, uh, they're basically hex, hex, hexadecimal digits. So they have a equivalent binary value of four bits. And, uh, yeah, you can make it whatever you want. So color, um, if I want to make a purple text with a, I'll do light purple with a black, with a, what do I want, what do I want to do, something cool, I like black backgrounds the most, so, uh, blue I guess is kind of cool, you could do, let's do light blue, so that's nine on a blue background, so color 91, Oh, that's hard to see. And if you hit up, you can um, repeat your last command or go through your history of commands. And there we go. I made it black text in there. But anyways, you you guys get the point. So I'll do a zero. It's not bad. Kind of kind of cool. I like two zero. That's it. Oh, wait, what, what's going on? I want oh light. So I want zero black background and two green. And it's still not what I want, so I must want light green. Light green is probably the one I'm looking for. There we go. Or do I want purple? No, I don't want purple. I want green. <laughs> Alright. Choices. And let's clear screen. And there we go. So, back to this. I'll just show you guys real quick. not too quick, because we don't want to startle you, sleepy people, all you sleepy heads out there, and let me get, let me show you what we could do with this if 
I want to, so what's this, what's this file called? eltabs.tab So if I want to, I want to um, search through the file and I want to grab the first and so if I want to grab only the the time of day so this is the um, this is basically just we do tests and we take little records and this is the record number and it has a corresponding timestamp with it which would be this right there and then the duration of that little data set and then a record and these are just different types of calibrations calibrations you can do right there so and this is just a run bit is just to denote that they're all um, a certain a certain they fit with a certain certain type of, of data that you can parse out of a really really big file we want to grab the date, the timestamp, and maybe the duration. I would use a for loop to loop through the file. So forward slash f to let let us know that we're looking through a file. And then I define my little variable that's going to hold the value. It's going to hold the value every time it, it's going to go incrementally through the file and each part of the file that it's currently on, it will do, it will do something that I'm about to tell you. Let's see. So, what it's going to do, and you literally type the word do, will set I'm going to store the value that A currently is, this little guy right here, and I got a kind of all over the place, but essentially what's going to happen is it's going to go through and I'm going to tell it to look for a tab, so right there, that's a tab all that space after the two is considered a tab and that's what that tab file means and every time it sees a tab it's going to know to stop and gather all the data before that tab and the tab is important because it'll let me tell this variable when to store, store certain values, I guess. And then I can do stuff with these certain values. And let's see. So the token token word 
just means that it's yeah, I guess the easiest way to explain it is that each, the way this for loop goes through these files is line by line, and line each line is broken up by the tabs into different tokens. So token one would be this, and then there's a tab. So that says to increment the value to token two, and uh, this becomes token 2 from this tab to this tab and you can see it goes up so each tab creates a new instance of a token and you can say I want the second and third tokens right there which would be this is one so it would be number two and number three right there so this for loop is going to go through this file line by line and in this variable right here it will store the token 2 and because I called this A if I asked it to store another value which I did here token 3 it will automatically create the next um, logical alphabet alph alphabetical character it's going to say alphanumeric to as a new variable in which to hold the token 3, the third token value of it. So um, now token 2 will be held in variable A and then it will create a variable B in which this token will be stored. And before it goes on to line 2, it will do what I tell it to with the uh, with the data so I I was really fascinated by how logical I think I think I said that in the ASMR buddy but um, I think that's why I, I can see the appeal of this to for uh, a lot of people because it's so logical if whenever there's a bug or a crash even though it can be very very difficult to solve it's ultimately something very rational and very logical um, that ends up being the solution so it's you know it's so um, and it's very satisfying to know that you you can search and it won't be in vain whereas in reality in the real world we often get perplexed by things for which we have no solution and we probably won't ever have a solution for so I'm going to set duration equal to B and I'll wrap those in quotation marks. And I'm going to echo the values. Um, I'm going to label it and just call it time, even though it's the same name as the variable that what I'm what I just typed doesn't have any value other than its literal value right there I'll, I'll, I'll call it time of day um, and now we will use time so whatever is stored so basically the first line it'll say okay this is token 2 and we're going to store it in A and then I'm going to whatever's in A I'm going to say store it in time because the, when it reaches the next line well I guess I didn't have to do that actually 
Yeah, maybe I could have just said. Yeah, let's try that. Oh, whatever. See, I explain something and then I understand it a little better, or just realize I'm an idiot. Um, so I'm gonna say time of day and. Duration of stuff equals whatever value is in dur, and we're going to output that to um, a new text file. We're going to say ASMR dot goods dot text. And that should do it. All right. So if we, yeah, I don't even have to end it. I can just hit save and uh, hopefully it works. Let me look at it one more time. it works. So, what is this called? Batch ASMR? We know don't do it the cool way. Type it. <laughs> you know what? It's in the wrong folder. Um... the tree huh. form shift seconds converter form shift okay okay there we go move So, I'm going to just copy that file as a tab or Trying to find a command to list all my files. I forget which one it is. File attribute. Display. timestamp too. 
very cool. ELFs. I don't see my file. <laughs> Let's go to the So I, I copied it. I copied it correctly, but I named it CD. I thought I was copying it. I guess by default it copies into the current directory. That was weird. So I'm going to label it EL Labs. EL Labs. And now, now let's try this. more goods not text so let's type it out so if we type out ASMR goods dot text there we go all right or I can also open it in notepad Just type notepad and the file name should open up. Kind of cool. So, yeah, I mean, this is uh, very rudimentary stuff, obviously. But, um, yeah, it gets, it, it's, I think it's very uh, fulfilling very satisfying, I guess, is the word, to see your little script, you know, that little, that's all it took, and really, I, I don't think I needed that, probably could have gotten away with just that. just enjoy the actual tangible result, as tangible as digital is, but you, you can create stuff, you know, you can go in and manipulate stuff, and so I'm going to delete that file, and I'm going to run our little thing. And you know what? Um, <laughs> yeah, don't pay attention to that Firefox tab. Where the heck is it? Ah, never mind. So I'll do that. And... Let's verify that my little modification worked. Hopefully it did. Nice. Alright, cool. And I guess I didn't really show you guys, but I did, in fact, bump set it by date. You can see it's 10.23 at night here. Um, I can delete that. And then if I try to open it, there is no, it wants to create a new file because I deleted it. So that let you know that I did, in fact, delete that file. Um, but anyways, yeah, I thought it was kind of cool. Let's see. And yeah, you can just do that and hit enter and it works and creates that file. And uh, hit Alt, Alt F4 to close. 
and close that one and then CLS clear that screen close that and I can say goodbye to you guys but I don't want to run that because it's not a operable program or batch file or internal or external command <laughs> it is neither of those or either or any of those things so yeah that was a little fun very basic show and tell of uh what's trapped inside that operating system of yours unless you get a Linux then it's more powerful but um, as always I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, I will see you very shortly hopefully if I keep up my every other day posting I just had a lot of time recently and so I, I tried to I don't know, I've had a lot of ideas on my head, on my, in my mind, in my head, on my mind. Uh, none of which apparently deal with saying things correctly, grammatically, but... Yeah, so I don't know, I just thought there's some interesting things I'd like to do for you. And uh, if you guys keep watching, I'll keep posting. And more importantly, leave comments too. And subs don't hurt, I guess, but you don't have to sub to watch my stuff. Um, your support is so appreciated, as always. It really does mean a lot. And uh, I try my best to comment to all of you guys. So if I miss you, just keep bugging me until I do. But until then, and until I hear from you guys... Until the next video, I hope you guys sleep well. Good night, guys.